Hello, today we're working in the Piskel app and this is a free online sprite editor. Sprites are characters that can be used in animations, in video games, you name it. So it's a fun app to use and we're going to get started by signing in. So you're going to sign in with Google. We click the sign in button. I've already signed in so mine might automatically go in. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here we have our gallery. So this is just a record of all the work that I've done before. To create a new sprite, I'm going to click Create Sprite. And I have my window. This is my drawing window. On the left are the frames. And on the right is my preview window. So whatever I draw here will appear in both of these windows. So the first tool on my left is my pen tool. And right now it's at the smallest size. So if I was to draw a line, it's still pretty thick and blocky. So I'm going to delete that. I am going to use my selection tool. I'm going to select it. And I am going to delete it by clicking delete on my keyboard. Another way to delete it would have been to use the eraser tool. I'm just going to click away to get rid of that. The next tool is our vertical mirror pen. But before I start drawing, I want to reduce the size of my pixels. So on my right, I'm going to click on this little edge corner with an arrow. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to make it a larger number. I'm going to go as far as maybe 250. The larger the number, the smaller the size of your pixels. And then I'll click resize one more time. We have a few more icons here. There's the save. This saves it to your gallery and this exports it as a GIF. So if you export this or you animate it, you click on the little mountain with the moon in the background. So the next tool is our vertical mirror pen and this is a good one for drawing because everything you draw on one side appears on the other. So I'm going to keep drawing. I'm going to create a little butterfly. So I just drew a butterfly using this vertical pen. In And that was so quick. All right, so now that I've created my butterfly, on my left, I am going to duplicate the frame. You can add a new frame, but look at what happens. If I added a new frame, my butterfly disappears. And then I'd have to draw it all over again. So I'm going to delete that. If I duplicate my frame, the butterfly is still there, so now I can adjust it. So I'm going to draw a little bit more though. So I am going to draw feelers on him. I'm going to duplicate my frame. I'm going to use my circle tool and I'm going to draw little designs. which butterflies tend to have. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's add some color now. So I'm going to duplicate my frame. And if you notice on my right, on the preview window, you can see movement happening. So within the butterfly itself, you can see all the frames moving together and it's flashing. So that's how I know that my frames are working. So I am going to now come to my paint bucket tool. I'm going to choose a color and we're going to get this color quickly. I'm going to undo that, which would be control Z. I'm going to choose another color. And then I'm going to come over on my palette and make sure that's clicked on. So I'm going to just quickly fill these in. I'm going to choose another color. And we're going to make this butterfly blue. Let's select that. Oh, that's a bright butterfly. And I'm going to duplicate my frame. Let's make his body 
brown. Oh, I'm not on my paint bucket till that's why. And we will just make that brown. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to move him. And to move him, we'll use the hand tool. So I am going to duplicate my frame and I'm going to move him a little. So I am moving the entire butterfly. For an animation, usually you'd be moving parts of him. So you'd erase a bit of, let's say his feeler, and you could redraw that to show it's moving. But right now we're just gonna be moving it around on different frames. And I'm gonna keep duplicating it just so that you can see a simple way of animating and how this works. So right now my butterfly is moving around. Perfect. So I am now going to save him. I'm going to give him a name. I'm just going to call him Fly. And I'm going to select Save to my gallery. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move down and to the mountain and I'm going to export him. I'm going to make sure that GIF is selected. I like the size of my pixels, so I'm not going to change this. However, if it was still a little chunky and you wanted to make it thinner, or a smoother line, you could make this larger or smaller, your choice. And I'm going to click download. And that's it. I can't wait to see what you create. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing.